like shit face. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh god, that's a rip. Next villain needs a hammer. Now that is sell. Um, that's very much sell. I'm so dumping on mine. Funny, I don't even know if I would recognize us if we didn't show up to a taller avatar. I guess I'd be a desktop player, but what kind of avatar would I be doing? But you know. The rat. Yeah, they actually say it's that and then um, you know it would be like I need to yeah. take from my account mm -hmm. because full disclosure I don't know oh, hey, look at that. That what they're doing <laughs> uh, heck really well, I can just live in this <laughs> my yeah, 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 yeah. segment's a little bit awkward uh, is your voice changing on them? it's fine Close and then mm -hmm. it just feels Another weird to be a small oh, avatar no. now, especially because I'm sure you've seen how tall my normal feel. ones are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's you can that's nice that's from back in my desk days. Like, it kind of looks in awkward if I make avatar. it bigger. What do you mean? But okay, you know what? You know what? Oh, wow. oh. oh, there you I go. I don't even know what to look for, Bunny. See, I want you to be ready. Now we can actually read oh, these. Yeah, 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 yeah. People who fit. Oh, mentally. shit. They are <laughs> absolutely normal. 100% normal. Without the shadow. Oh, it's just kind of like, Damn. if I put this at normal height, it kind of looks like oh, I don't God, know. Oh, my God. Don't ever put it Seven. Six. 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 Something wrong with Five. 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 Four. Three. You know how to count pretty good. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. Welcome to our point of contact, to the narrative domain. Long ago, when the first mortals walked with us, we guided them through stories of design and emotion. These evoked narratives, however brilliant, and only shone the brightest when their limits were broken. But how does one free the limits of a world within its own creator's headspace? A concept given words and voice in turn gives the observer infinite potential to create a story within their own mind, private and held dear in their own image. On the shores of your own creation, a single soul can create 10,000 stories and all of them brimming with ether. Complete mutual understanding of oneself is reflected in these stories and shared in a mutual headspace. We slowly became more aware of the potential and the answer became clear to us. For you see, the characters within begin to gain their own soul and the aforementioned limit it breaks the dimensional barrier. This is the true magic of VR travelers. For you see, together with them, those below us living within the text, they are no longer confined, but shared within many. Their narrative's future slowly shifts ownership from a single creator to the entire collective unconscious. Res Nolius. My friends, we are VR travelers, and we create immersive, story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and always 100% wholesome team effort. We do this for fun. We do this for free. We do this to be a bright spot in the world today. And today is special, for as many of you know, today is the final showing of 
the archaeologist. This is the last time they will be given life within our minds. This is the last time you will meet them below. Oh. Or is it? Ooh. My friends, this story is told by a very special interdimensional traveler. This story is told by a good friend and the best voice actor to ever grace the halls of the narrative realms. Travelers, I welcome to the stage with great honor the one, the only, Trajem, the tour guide. Let's go. How do you do, my good sirs, my good madams? Might I have a moment of your time? You see, I have a long trip ahead of me, one toward which I harbor mixed emotions, and I am seeking worthy company. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am the archaeologist, and my destination is the great southern mine shaft, where my professor awaits. The miners there have stumbled upon some long-sealed ancient mystery, and they need our help to unlock its secrets. It would seem I have chanced upon a collection of travellers. This is just what I was looking for. I would like to formally invite you all, on a journey of discovery and darkness, to a place you will likely never revisit. My friends, some notes before we depart. This is a story-based tour, and as with any real tour in the real world, I politely ask that you stay with me. In other words, please don't go ahead of me or lag behind too far during our adventure. You do not want to end up alone down there. Additionally, the spawn area is rather small. Walk forward or backward and you may plummet. When you load in, wait for me at the top of the stairs. Also, please make sure that you are friends with at least one other attendee in case you need to send an invite request to join back to the world for any reason. You are welcome to add myself or my fellow tour guides around me as friends. And now... If everyone is ready, I am going to drop an invite plus portal. Please do not enter the portal until I give the signal, as the portal might despawn and you'll be stuck in a void forever and eternity. My friends, I will see you on the other side. Rush! Yeah. With a with a curiosity missing uh, a 
railing right behind where you spawn in at, so you, heaven forbid you back up and fall down to your death. <laughs> I mean, hey, look at that. I mean, oh. since you've been there, okay, I didn't fall to my death, excellent. Yep, 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 watch your step, everyone, watch your step. Hooray. Uh, has anyone ever fallen to their death immediately before? Yes, uh, many times. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, okay. Me upon loading into this world the first time. Like my third time on this tour. Lovely. Also, hi. Hello. Hello. Did everyone make it in? Is it I just me or is there an echo? Oh yeah, there is. There's just there's there's me and echo. No, it's just you. For everyone but yourself, there is an yeah, echo. Just you. Well. Interesting. <laughs> Congratulations. Five, four, three, two, one. World music should be set to an immersive level. Please set your avatars to something plain with no emissive lights, no flat and no sounds, and not too tall, as atmosphere is very important, and the tunnels will get cramped. You may also notice the map has an echo effect. While you are welcome to talk together as we walk from place to place, each time we stop for narration, please take these unique acoustics into consideration and kindly refrain from speaking. And now, my friends, without further ado, the final telling of the tale of the archaeologist begins. Welcome to the great southern mine shop. The archaeologist has spent weeks crossing uninhabited mountains, all to come to this place. All the excitement that had slowly dripped away during his wearying journey suddenly rushes back as he descends this first ladder. The archaeologist is a young and talented man, a pupil of knowledge a bright, promising mind, and the assistant to the professor. The professor had arrived a week prior, and should be waiting for him somewhere below. Together, they are the first in the field to see these newly discovered ancient sites in person. The archaeologist is excited by the chance to finally prove himself to the professor. The foreman of the mine meets the archaeologist, and they converse casually as they descend to the first level. The concrete shaft smells of grease, smoke and sweat. And all the miners are wearing masks that obscure the entire face. This way, friend. Oh my god, that song was stuck in my head as well when they said that. <laughs> I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. <laughs> to all my Metro fans out there, anyone get the Metro vibes? The foreman explains that the professor is just ahead, but he stops by the supply room and has someone give the archaeologist three items, an oil lantern, a safety helmet, and a flashlight. The archaeologist peers into the storage room and notices something, a rather heavy steel door 
with armed guards standing either side of it, also masked. Before he can give it any more thought, the foreman pulls him away. This way, friends. I'm pulling you away. We go. Our guide makes a great flashlight. <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't mispronounce that. Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh my god. Oh. That's funny. That's I mean, I'd smash. I'd smash. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this feels like a Disneyland queue line. Stay on this side of the line. This side, <laughs> this side of the line. Love sword where my dad used to work. <laughs> Don't step inside the wooded area. Otherwise you'll do my soul. So how does it feel to be tiny now? Uh -huh. Yeet. <laughs> there he is. The man himself. The professor. Kneeling outside what appears to be a line of wooden stakes. The archaeologist, eager to learn, ready to prove his worth, excitedly greets the professor. The professor does not return the greeting. He does not stand. He does not lift his head. Instead, he continues to sketch in his book, and he says he is now standing in what he has named Ritual Cave. One. And he promptly gives the archaeologist a task. My friends, this is your first quest. Listen carefully. As a group, you are to collectively observe anything unusual and noteworthy about the unnatural features of this room, and then come back as a group to describe to the professor what you see. This is your chance to prove your knowledge and skill. To those who have done this before, feel free to stand aside. I will give you two minutes starting now. Follow what the professor's doing. What? And what is the professor doing? He's sitting outside the lines. Oh, He's playing the professor again. It's fine. The new yeah. people can That's do my soul. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. It's all good. They got this. It's they all fine. They got this. It's all good. Why do you look like that? <laughs> so, either of them. Oh, yeah, this short. is one of my... This and, is uh, oh, good. Yeah, this is my preferred different. height. Yeah, this is I'm Timothy. Sure. It makes me sad I'm six oh, foot higher now. Uh, I feel you look weird, <laughs> human. I want to be small. small. But yeah, I'll laugh at this one. Tall. Bless you. What? Bless you. Thank 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 you. Boys cave come be with us me so you just watch the new people do this Yes yeah, like, it's fine it's fine don't sweat it Exactly fuck I've done this before and I still don't remember what happens I've observed that there's a bunch of wood everywhere Ah no worries then again the last time I did it was 3 years ago so Exactly Oh goodness me Hey guys <laughs> What's up, nerd? This is an archaeological site. I think I got it. I'm heading out. You're I'm leaving? Spanned every which way. Ready? Going red. This is the last time this tour is going to happen. If you miss out, you're never going to see it again. Yep, that's true. Okay. You won't know how the story ends. Yeah. 
kind of live here. Not really clean so be a British person and tell him to politely fuck off. Oh, they left. Oh, rip. Man, imagine being oh, I see no, the, the story God. just started. There, no one knows what's oh. happening. Oh. Yeah. At least for the new people. Oh. Here we go. Here I'm go. new. Now, who thinks they have what it takes? Observant archaeologists, but in anthropologists, any volunteers? Fast off, I see your hand is raised. Yup. Go ahead. So what we got here has 12 stakes, an elevated stone platform, and five sacrificial piles. Fast off. These are the words that the professor would use if we had given any other answer. Are you sure you want to use the professor's words against him? I uh, mean, yeah, that sounds fun. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh, he turned red for a second! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, can you uh, not make the cosmic dice angry? Cool, it's cool. The professor stops, his hand and arm still, his eyes still fixed upon his book, and he says, in a very calm tone, but the archaeologist attempts to mock him once more, he will find himself back in the grey city. Ooh. Some fun words they got there. The professor apologizes that the archaeologist came all this way for nothing, but tells him he is welcome to wait in the supply room whilst he finishes the studies himself. The archaeologist feels his blood boil, but he bites his tongue and leaves the professor be. For now. This way, friends. I'm sure the professor and the archaeologist are going to end up being best friends by the end of this story. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah, there, there ain't going to be <laughs> murders. I, I promise. Totally. They're going to kiss. It's in my, it's in my <laughs> fan fiction. Also, hello, Abel. Good to see you. Wait, do we know the genders of the two? Can we? Are we? Are they legal? Are we allowed to ship them together? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're legal. Generally, archaeologists are of adult age. Generally. All right, I ship it. But what about the professor? I ship it. The professor? <laughs> professor. Oh, professor oh, wisely this relationship. Ah, see, they go. It just falls apart. Oh, I was sitting. All right, cosmic dice block can't. Cosmic Mario dice block can't can't really wear pants. Mm. What? Mm. Not with that attitude. All right, that's a quote. That's a quote. <laughs> Is there a battle pass Back for this? Can I unlock new skins for the guide? The mountain wind whistles in the distance. The archaeologist overhears some of the miners whispering about some sort of magnetic disturbance, some sort of barrier <laughs> preventing entrance to something ancient in the forbidden lower floors.
the archaeologist cannot resist. He didn't come all this way to watch the professor draw piles of wood. He did not spend countless nights scrutinizing research papers by candlelight, toiling away in unforgiving desert heat, fighting off dehydration and fevers and bandits and wild beasts and malaria and avalanches and starvation to watch the professor draw a pile of damn sticks! Damn. Sticks. That's gotta be the strongest delivery I've ever heard of that one. Goodness. Yep. Our tour guide became a Dalek. <laughs> no. The archaeologist knows what he must do. He will descend the great southern mine shaft. He will make the new discoveries. He will overcome anything for the recognition he deserves. He will become the professor. When the guards are not looking, the archaeologist slinks away and descends. Okay. Not gonna lie, Trajan. That's a hell of a send off for a pile of damn sticks. Oh, we're going deeper. Feels better oh, it's we'll deeper. Here, shout that. We don't fall. Don't break yes, do not fall. I think oh, the professor is no, in love with sticks. Totally we definitely fall. have insurance. My friends, a brief reminder for the sake of the heavy atmosphere of this tour. Each time we stop for narration, please kindly refrain from speaking. Thank you. Listen. There's nobody down here. No miners. No professor. No howling winds. Only cold, comforting silence, and the stench of smoke and grease. He lights his oil lantern and begins his own journey of discovery, giddy with anticipation. That, that was my bad. There's miners down here? Well, I guess there's not miners there's anymore. Miners in here. Oh boy. <gasps> Sticks. Rocks. Watch your step. Just ahead. Just here. There's a spike trap. It would spell a rather painful end to this new adventure, but as we pass, do take a look, for the trap seems entirely undisturbed. The archaeologist, therefore, has reason to believe that he could be the first one to be here. This way. Oh, oh God. How good's your parkour? Oh, yeah, it looks like it's connected. Yeah, Pokemon? 
That's funny for you. Alright. We're back here? I've been well, moved. how did we get back here? Deja vu. The archaeologist finds himself in Ritual Cave 1? No. No. It cannot be. There is no sign the professor was here. And he didn't even... What was that? The archaeologist looks across the cavern at the far exit. And there... stands a man. One of the miners. Just standing, looking at him, face obscured by a mask. Just as the archaeologist begins to think of what he ought to say, the miner turns and leaves. Perhaps he was wrong. He shouldn't be surprised there are miners down here. And the archaeologist feels as though he should watch his step. He presses on and decides to inspect the cave. My friends, this is your second quest. The goal is straightforward. You are to identify the unnatural details of this room and determine to what degree they match Ritual Cave 1. I will give you one minute, starting now. What is it you see? Hey, baby. Cheating. Um, my best drink of Scott Cook. Mm. I don't know, some story of adventure, I guess. Kind of, I don't know what's happening in the story, I guess. Kind of got it. Do you? No, we do. Do you? Your time is up. Now, make a noise or jump in my face. Volunteers, any conclusions? I got it. Time this Lord. This side is his face. This side. Time Lord, go ahead. There is like at least four sticks now. Four st files where there were five before and there's a hole I don't know if I noticed that before or not and a I line see. of sticks down this way so you think this is different but very well yeah. anyone else someone behind me I was gonna say the same thing. They, they. I, I count five piles of sticks, but okay. Oh, five, I didn't count it. But, Nathan, do you think the room is identical or just similar? When you mean room, do you mean from this these log things? Is that where the room starts? What do you think I mean by room? I do think you mean that. And in that case, I do think they are very similar. But I count less rocks around that particular pillar. Oh, like one I less, think you maybe. mean fewer rocks. But very well, thank you. 
Let's get on with the story. After a short while going over everything he can, the archaeologist decides that any similarities are a coincidence, or perhaps intentional. But the room is physically a different room. And he thusly names the space Ritual Cave 2. He is confident that he has made a new discovery, but if he goes back to tell the professor now, he would surely be scolded for descending without authority. No, he needs something more impressive. He must go deeper. Oh, that's what she said. Fees. The bold. <laughs> Dive. Hey. The hole. I guess we're really going down the rabbit hole now. Oh, the Trajan light disappeared. Tragic. <laughs> back. Oh, it's back. It Glorious light. Beautiful. Oh, there it goes oh, again. Hail the cube. <laughs> Little light. Praise the cube. Oh, hail the cube. cube. Cube, Still wanting that battle pass. Can we, can we can we get extra skins for the cube? <laughs> yeah, like a kawaii like, skin oh, and oh, maybe like a super battle pass. Skin. We need a stabby skin. That's what we need. We need one that has a knife. Yeah, how do we? Cat ears on the cube, but can we get dog ears on it? Oh my god, oh, can we get a tail? Trade oh, yeah, 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 yeah. More likely than you may think. Never been more ashamed oh. to know all of you. Love you, Trajan. Love you too, Trajan. We're, we're, we're just gonna torture you. This is your last tour. So yeah, that is that not his last tour, he has several more. I'm going to be doing uh, tours all year. Yes. <laughs> huh. The archaeologist seems to have found himself back within the central shaft. He pauses to listen. He can hear miners above and below echoing in remote passages. It doesn't sound like the professor has noticed he is missing yet. That means this is the perfect opportunity to descend to the next floor. This way, friends. So about those cat ears. Oh, sir. Oh, my mic's on. This doesn't look right. Bars. Broken bars at that. Is this part of the mine? Hmm. There are no miners here. The archaeologist stops again to listen. Ah. Ah, yes. There it is. 
ever so faint, a distant hum, a droning sound. He proceeds carefully. Hey, is it me or did I see a shiny glint up there? Could have sworn I saw one of those. I also saw there. it, but there's there's, there's more important oh, things. Like rabbit ears on the dice block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, here it is now, right? Okay, okay, guys, hear me out. The cube in a maid dress. Yes, let's go. With rabbit ears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can we put yeah. it in a bunny uniform? A bunny suit? Oh, yeah, 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 we could totally do that. Don't torture the poor man too much, okay? <laughs> Now we're going full sand. It's too late. They're not a man, they're a cube. Nothing stops me from making this another <laughs> bad ending, you know. <laughs> I mean... More concrete rooms. So, be you are still within the confines of the mineshell. The hum is coming from this generator in the small room back there. Yes, that must be keeping these lights on. He decides to rummage through the larger room. Perhaps there might be something useful lying around. As he does, a question swims to the front of the archaeologist's mind. Shipping crates? Why? He double checks that there are no miners around, finds a crowbar, and carefully pries a crate open. Inside is not what he expected. Dozens and dozens of ceramic humanoid figurines, some as big as a skull, others no larger than a knuckle bone, and they are old, very old, with flakes of paint remaining and carved elaborate patterns denoting various styles of clothing, quite unlike anything he has seen before. The only aspect of the figurines he finds baffling is the faces, or rather, the lack thereof. While the rest of each figurine is rich in detail, every face has just one dot for a mouth, and where the eyes should be, a smooth, blank, featureless surface. It feels wrong. It feels very wrong. The archaeologist hurriedly puts them back and closes the crate. And then realizes what this might mean. He might not be the first one to have explored these ancient tunnels. And he realizes something else. He's not alone. He sees it just as he lifts his gaze in the very corner of his vision, peering through the grimy window, a miner with a mask upon its face. But he vanishes as quickly as he had appeared. The archaeologist stands and dusts his gloves. Is he being followed? Observed? Studied? Just what are the miners up to? Did they not want him to discover this place? Did they intend on it? Well, all he knows for sure is that nobody is stopping him. Which means he must be fine. Yes, everything is fine. Things couldn't be going better. He proceeds. Dum, dun, 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 dun.
Am I the only one that heard a uh, minor with a mask and then the Doctor Who reference of, I need my money? <laughs> okay, Not good. anymore. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting a kid with a golf mask, like minor with a mask. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> So there's limestone inside. Oh my god, can we get can we get a TARDIS skin for the for the bo for the block? <laughs> come in, friends, come in. Don't block the tunnel. The archaeologist comes to a much larger cavern with pathways high and low. He wants to find a tunnel as high up as possible and work his way down. My friends, in a moment, I will give you a couple of minutes to freely explore this room and this room only. Please do not leave this chamber or enter any other tunnels. Once you are done exploring, locate an upper tunnel and gather there where I will be waiting for you. Your time starts now. <laughs> That's here, right? Pretty good exploring. Parkour. But again, going back to the TARDIS, the TARDIS skin with Dark Block, I think that'd be adorable. It is a hypercube. But it is an interesting I'm idea. Right, yeah. Alas, you failed. Parkour, parkour. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that, man? I want to see if it happens at night. Kill. Oh, you can die. Yeah, you're gonna. Well, you're gonna wrinkle him. He's a two-dimensional creature. Yeah. Yeah. I was surprised not to see any special effects. Well, I'm. I'm pretty sure Kenny's Stem. here. Stem. Alright, fine. Cur curious, murderous motherfuckers, alright. Yeah, but it's fine, okay? Don't worry about it. Death is the only guarantee in life. So if we murder Kenny, would he just get folded? I don't know. Can't Go forget the taxes. I can. Make Kenny do the recon scan. Oh, the tax man is real and he is very scary. That's cool. How are you supposed to get up here? Because I feel like I didn't oh. do it correctly. You should get up here and then you did it correctly. You Skyrim That's horse up the wall. That's very useful. Uh, mm. Whatever Skyrim works. Skyrim horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I have nameplates so on the icons me? only. Oh, and yours oh, is shown nice. to lag. Okay, so one's actually made that into an avatar. Yeah. Would you like oh, that? That's cool. Bad. <laughs> yeah. No, Distracted by Paul. Thank you, smile. No worries, you might. Believe that was part of your thing. Yeah, that's my one. Very cool, very cool. Parkour. Thank you. <laughs> oh no, he failed. No. I'll put another one at the bottom of the upcoming jump in case someone falls. Very cool. Slash me pulls you along this way. Slash <laughs> um, <laughs> me gets dragged over this way. Slash me Fortnite dances. Slash ban whoever that was. Slash me by his battle pass for cube skins. The only dancing I permit here is when you do it yourself in VR. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, uh. Definitely. Slash me, quote. Be warned, though. It, it can. Be warned. You can curse the entire group with with oh, your I dances, can't. as I've learned. Do not cross, please. Right yeah. Do not cross. Aha. Uh -huh. The archaeologist spies a challenge. A pit to cross, and old wooden beams to help him. Lit from above by daylight? Daylight this far below the surface? Hmm. The archaeologist perishes the thought and crosses. My friends, in a moment, you may proceed at your own pace across. Once across, please wait on the other side. If you need help, we will help you toward the end, and I shall cross last. Please make your way over now. Um, really? I want to do the challenge this time. This is still the coolest thing I've seen in the military. Yeah, I'm like, I'm going to use something like this. That's so cool. I mean, uh, I mean, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Ah. Is that a real portal? Yeah, portal, yeah. Yeah, the only problem is you want to show your avatar. Ether. Oh, no, really? no, I'm so close! No, 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 If you show Smile Psycho Avatar, you can teleport across using their portal. Oh, me? I don't care. Oh, come on. This is a public game. No. 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 You can do it. No. Be patient. <laughs> be masterful. It can help to jump diagonally. It gives you a little more room to get a run up. Or just spam the crap out of your jump or spam face bar. <laughs> That's what I did. I missed every jump and just spam the crap out of it. I can do it full health. One, two, three. Two. Reminds me of Gorilla Tag. Gorilla Tag doesn't exist. What's Gorilla Tag? I play it. I play it. Ready to use your hands? First try. Very nice. Awesome. Cool. Is Gorilla Tag canon in this universe? Nope. Does not exist. Except for the parkour. Mission accomplished. I've done it. Nice. That the first time I've ever done that with Like, I always flipped. I just gotta believe. Come on. I need a taller avatar. Flying avatar. Here you can clown if you like. There we go. There we go. That took me way longer than. You can also just use the teleport circle, but okay. I know. I know, but I No, come on. Oh, we made it! Yay! Yay! Yeah. 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 Alright, let me go back to chibi mode. Yeah, exactly. Now we just gotta get our dice block back. Oh, I just gotta do that. Smiles, yeah. turn off. Yeah, that's it. It's breaking mood. It's not hard at all, but all right. the, that's the first time I've actually seen someone okay. implement it. Woo! That's so cool. Yo, Come, on, like, Come on, Trangem! Come on! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Alright, come on. Do a flip! Watch this. The cube's final going. Backflip. Oh, <laughs> I watched you! I watched you! That was incredibly <laughs> impressive! They got a nat one. <laughs> when you roll a nat one? Why is there a bitch? Come on, Trajan! Do it, Trajan! Because some. For the good ending, do it! What? He's going to make it. I want to say. I mean, someday, yeah. One, <laughs> one jump back off. <laughs> I'm worried you've got to do it. Risk it out alone. You can do it. Come on. The cube Speaking cannot cross until you do. Longer. The cube must be the last one. The cube has Come to be on, the final worried. one. You got this. 
Two more jumps. Oh. Come on. Can you, can you drop it down below, Smiles? So they can just get up here. Use my. Wait, Smiles is providing. Out now. Why are they invisible? Because it's a ghosty. They're not. Ghostly of Trajan's fucking died. Yes, here we go. I can't believe it either. We've got so dice sad. block emojis now. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yes. yes, let's go. You did that. <laughs> that is incredible. incredible. Yes, I, I, I did it just now. Wait, what? Oh, wow, they Yo, killed him. Yeah. Do it. yeah. <laughs> I did it while we were waiting. I forgot I had this ball. <laughs> you can make it. No, 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 no. Don't cheat yeah. yourself. This is your last one. Come on. Mm -hmm. You got the. You can do it, Trey Jim. I believe Trey Jim. you. And that one. Trey Jim. Trey Jim. Trey Jim. Trey Jim. Trey Jim. Dice block. Dice block. Dice block. Dice block. Trey Jim. You can do it. There we go. Trainer Jim. You got this. I'll catch you! Just don't bore me! He's dead! This way, friends. This way. He's dead! Go, go, go. Fuck yeah! Celebratory emoji of dice block. The archaeologist steps into. Wait. No, no. No, it, it cannot be. Can it? He must find out. My friends, our third quest. The goal is simple find out whether this room is identical to Ritual Caves 1 or 2, or whether something else is happening and we're going in circle breaking time space continuum or losing our minds your time starts now you like my uh, I like how my blocking I know Kanda has me shown and was just too proud to That's use my beautiful. portal lol Look, it's a, it's a, I love that it's just it's a picture of him I... I thought about I'm still trying to decide on what kind of effect I'm going to give the emoji. I never implemented it. Because I have procrastination and something I don't know. I'm at least sure that this a magnet? of wood is the same. Ooh, this could be but nice. I looked at it somewhat intensely. No, it's, it's a good system. Yeah. yeah. Right, let's try this. It is. <laughs> Ooh, that is wood. in fact wood. A swarm of cubes! I, I took a bite out of it, it's definitely wood. <laughs> Look at your children! Swarm of cube. I love it! It's perfect. <laughs> I love it. And then I've got and then I've got Bucket Cat as my other one. It's time for me to accept oh, responsibility. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want, do you want your own emoji too? <laughs> my mind is boggled. I think he does. My flab is utterly gassed. All right, here, here, stand over here. Please you know, we'll keep all picture. flabs inside the vehicle. Go. Your picture is requested. Yeah, come over here. I'll take your picture. My like, gob you utterly smacked. Okay. Gob absolutely. Oh, keep boy. all smacks inside your goblin. <laughs> My friends, your time has expired. So, who has answers, theories, conclusions, analysis? Anyone? Ah, Nadu. I think we're going crazy, yeah. I think that's an apt analysis of this, because this is... This is identical to the previous one. Crazy. And I was mistaken before. Those, those rocks, same amount as the first one and the second one. 
I think the sticks. Cat yeah. Ninja, There's more sticks. You agree? I don't know. Time Lord, you think this is different? Cat Ninja, I think more than time you paradox. Think this is the same. Or could no, we're be definitely the same in the paradox. First one. It, it was the same before I took a bite out of one of the, the pieces of wood. Technically, it's a little bit different now. Yeah, it's the same. Same, same but different. How paradoxical. <laughs> the archaeologist checks the room over and eventually determines that this room is separate, yet rather identical. Ritual Cave 3. Confused and intrigued as to what li might lie ahead, the archaeologist proceeds, knowing that every step takes him closer and closer to a grand discovery. This way. Miners would ninja, your fucking so torch is adorable. Crazy. Oh my god, Cat Ninja is a miner. I crazy? Think so too. That was crazy once. Oh. Put me in a room. What? Oh my god. You put me in a cave. The you can say is I'm not crazy. <gasps> a bucket! Let's go! Is it door? It's... Is this a well? Oh, it is a bucket. This is a bucket. Ooh. Is it made out of wood? <laughs> Buckets. There's are more. Real. There's more. Yeah. Bucket party. <laughs> it tastes a dying wish. What is this? So, the miners have definitely descended this far and used this bucket to lift something. Out of here. The archaeologist has one guess as to what this was used for. Still, still, there must be something down here that they missed. They can't have found everything already. After all, what do mere miners know of ancient civilization? Even with the professor's help, they are no match for the archaeologist. He will earn the recognition of his peers and even his superiors. The professor is going to regret shoving him to the side like a discarded fag. All I heard is Minecraft. <laughs> How did this one come out? Mince Raft. Oh. Mince Raft. Huh? Didn't come out good. Another one. Ah. No, you're not Do not cross, Wait. friends. Do not cross. Please gather here. Hold. Hold. Hold your jumping legs. Bless you. Bless you. you. Bless you. Wait. Who is that? The archaeologist returns to the pit he crossed, and he sees someone standing on the other side of the pit. No. No, two people. Miners with their masks on. They turn and leave, taking the right-hand tunnel before the archaeologist can even begin to scramble back across. Just what are they up to? What is going on here? There's something strange in the neighborhood. This way, friends. Oh. <laughs> Ghostbusters! Oh. Parkour! Parkour! 
Parkour. 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 I made it. Can't yeah. it parkour. Yeah. I can't jump across that. This one didn't even matter. Mm hmm. I actually did it. I did it. Gravity. Please try not to go ahead of me, friends. You don't know where I'm stopping. Exactly. That's why I'm sticking close. Like going ahead. Can you see? Get some I understand your enthusiasm, but I will not hesitate to destroy you. Okay. Oh. Do, do not. Yeah, you see that purple region. spot? That's actually a black oh, hole. That's a safe one. Exactly. That, that'll, that'll eat you up in seconds. Alright, <laughs> Of course I hate it. Oh, yes, it's not. I appreciate how dark this map is. Because my eyes hurt less. What the heck is that? Rest. Your eyes hurt less. Your eyes hurt less. Less, yeah. It's rather funny. Imagine that going blind right. in a place like this. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Back I don't like the way you the main shaft, the overpowering Ooh. stench of smoke and grease returns to the archaeologist. A familiarly disgusting wall of odor. He can hear miners all around, noises in the distance, echoing voices and clanking machinery. Nondescript, vague and ominous. Looking down now, there is but one more floor. This way. Here we are, the bottom floor. Stop here. Tech, tech, hold up. <laughs> so, can we get across? My friends, this is it. This is what the archaeologist came here for. The forbidden lower floor. And something occurs to him. He looks up, up to the top of the shaft, craning his neck to see the entrance, and he spots him. Leaning over the balcony of the first floor, the professor is there, looking directly down at him. Defiant, the archaeologist rushes onward. <laughs> Slash me walks at a casual pace. <laughs> <laughs> Slash me shifty the archaeologist to the professor. Well, yeah. yeah, it's a Slash me realize the archaeologist. Oh, I mean, I don't know, the queue could have legs. Well, Slash just be... give at you what? the plane that we're not I mean, aware of. You know? Just saying, could have legs for all these. Oh my people. god, ninjas and miners. Like what steps? Uh... Oh. Mine. I'm sorry, you are digging out bedrock. But even bedrock crumbles like, like sugar cane, when compared to the cube. Speaking of crumbling, the archaeologist oh. comes to a large cavern filled with pillars and precipices, stalactites and stalagmites. My friends, in a moment, you'll be completely free to explore this new chamber. Please do not leave this space or enter any tunnels, but do see how many other exits you can locate. 
Make sure you check every square inch of this room and meet me at one of the entrances in a few minutes. Now. I don't know why, I like, I always like exploring the high road here. That's a scary jump. <laughs> I'm parkour! I'm actually gonna go the low road this time, actually. Parkour missed it! Missed it. Well, the go was found. Fuck! <laughs> ah, a dead end. Oh, dang it. But is this right? Or is it not? Am I supposed to go past here? Oh, can I just turn to the tunnel? The fuck is that? <laughs> what? Much more convenient, thank that you. That bee is passing gas on her out of the whole cave. <laughs> Ew. Just no, no problem. I can't oh, see. Who am I in second? Question, Psycho. Are you able to sit on it yourself? Hi. I accidentally Me. ended up inside of you. Oh, that's not how it's done. Uh -oh. uh -oh. History oh, repeats man. itself, it seems. Still gonna make it. Very cool. You can apply the camera, I guess. You know. That's just the reality. Yeah, option. but you don't have that good range. I thought you had any limited range. No, it does nah, not. Nah, you're very limited. Drone cameras. Nah. It's very limited and lame. But I useful. Think, well, are you serious? Are you, are you, are you role-playing as right one now. of the miners right now? Sorry. Uh, sir, Nick, no, 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 was it? Keep doing it. I want to what department were you looking for? The oh, hardware department. Oh, mining avatar. I'm sorry. What was that? I clone it. In general, the hardware department. Ah. I'm sorry, sir. I don't understand. You know where he's. All right, give up. Any Trajan's good. <laughs> Parkour. Let's go. He makes it. I'm, I, I, I like to use the portal. <laughs> I'm not doing all that again. I made it once. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> no. <laughs> We're doing adventure maps, not mine for dads. He can't mine. <laughs> Nope, I do it's not. It's adventure mode. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> the spam forward technique. Yes. <laughs> when in doubt, W. <laughs> <laughs> we W. When in doubt, butter whale out. <laughs> Uh, no. Did we get everyone? Oh no, we still got some stragglers. Nope. <laughs> very much missed the jump earlier. Turn on Smiles Avatar. They have a portal that you can teleport with. Oh no, fuck that. I'm too proud for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At least they <laughs> are honest. It's unacceptable oh, it's to do anything else. <laughs> My friends, please follow me. Yes, follow the funny trade Follow the cube. The archaeologist chuckles as he steps into a now familiar arrangement. Even at a mere glance, 
He is sure this is another ritual room. Ritual room four by now. But as he pauses to catch his breath, he looks about and wonders. These ancient people, where did they get all their wood from? The surroundings beyond the mine are rocky and ancient, barren as far as the eye can see. Before he can think on it any further, a noise catches his attention. He spins round just in time to see someone scurrying back the way he came. The archaeologist carefully follows. The time for passivity is over. I think I said that wrong. This way, friends. When Trajan says a word, it becomes the way that you say that word forever. No! He's called words to himself. No! Uh, Smiles, I think, remind me of the Let's see who the... Let's see who the pro Fortnite gamers are. <laughs> Alright, I guess he's Flying Avatar here. Zoth has portal up. You're welcome to come if you need. Yes. Thank you. But Wait. Yeah. Is the second one? Or did I just start it? I bungled the jump. Apologies, friends. Some bodies fell. We're trying to get them up now. We appreciate your patience. Thank you, Smiles. Never right. me up without flying after our mail. The archaeologist <laughs> comes to a large cave, and he can tell where he stands. He laughs aloud to himself. Surely. Surely this is just some cruel jest. Or is he going mad? As he ponders the thought. He looks about for the miner he saw. The shadows of the cave shift and dance as his lantern sweeps from side to side. Every little noise is echoed, amplified to the point of being unrecognizable. His heartbeat is like a tiny man living his ribcage, rhythmically knocking, trying to escape. And then he sees something. Another tunnel. They must have gone this way. He switches off his lantern and creeps toward it, holding his breath. My friends, follow me and remain behind me.
Maybe we're in the hypercube already. That's why every room is the same. Do not fall down. Do not fall down. Why is it red? Why do we see red? Mm -hmm. Do not fall down, friends. The story continues from here. <laughs> that is not a good sight down there. The archaeologist comes to a pit. From the bottom of the pit, an eerie orange glow emanates, otherworldly. He slowly moves toward it to see the source of the light, and Whoosh! The archaeologist stumbles just in time to avoid a pickaxe swung wildly at his head from behind. He lands on his side and turns to face his assailant. The silhouette of a miner stands over him, face obscured, pickaxe raised high for another blow. You have to die, screams the miner. He said it would work, he said it would work. You must die! My friends, will the archaeologist fight back against the frenzied pickaxe wielding miner or will he attempt to flee and escape the mine? I actually don't care what you're saying. Because we're on the good path. We are running. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the archaeologist does not want to die. He has come so far, seen so much. He sweeps at the miner's legs and his assailant topples to the hard ground. The archaeologist runs. My friends, we must flee. Fly, you fools! Okay, guys. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, the cube is human. Look at him going new. He's human. He really god damn, is. they've been human. <laughs> I mean, we yeah, said flee. Then flee we will. Alright, back to my previous theory. What if we're just in a hypercube? That's why every place looks the same. Spooky. <laughs> I mean, flee means flee. <laughs> Specific flee content. Hey guys. <laughs> I do not like <laughs> this is mine exclusive content. <laughs> Did we unlock the battle pass? Alas. Clearly not, because we didn't fight. The word battle. Let's wait everyone to catch up. Ah. <laughs> The archaeologist makes it to the bottom of the mine shaft. The stench of grease and smoke hits him like a wall. He waits around the corner to the entrance of the bottom floor, his heart pounding, his chest heaving. And he waits for the miner for a minute. Two minutes. Five minutes. Nobody comes. Did the miner hit his head during the fall? Did he get lost on his way back? The archaeologist feels that no one is chasing him anymore. He proceeds. Carefully. Wait here, friends. Wait here, wait here.
the archaeologist stops outside the second level and looks up. There are two armed guards near the ladder talking with the foreman. He cannot escape. Not just yet. He wonders what the professor is doing. Does he know what's going on? And the archaeologist remembers their talk from earlier, where the professor had mocked him, made him wait, lied to his face. The archaeologist feels something build up inside him, like water simmering in a pot, heat slowly rising from his feet. And he decides that he is going to confront the professor. My friends, let's sneak our way up. Nobody say a word. The archaeologist doesn't pass a single soul on his ascent. He isn't sure where all the miners went, but he makes the most of the empty corridors. And then he sees something, and he gravitates toward it. Heavy, reinforced doors. He checks the corridor both ways and moves to the door. The handle is cold and heavy, and he turns it. It is not locked. With a groan, he pushes it open and pokes his flashlight into the darkness within. What he sees is immediately familiar wood, piles upon piles of wood, the same wood that makes up the primitive sacrificial pyres. Either they collected this wood from said pyres, or, now that he thinks about it, more likely the pyres were created by the professor, or by someone something else. The archaeologist is infuriated. Why go to all the effort of setting him up like this? Why is he being mocked? He doesn't understand and that only angers him further. With his safety helmet, oil lantern, and flashlight at the ready, he leaves the supply room, hoping that the professor is just ahead. Hoping for one final confrontation. Oh, boy.
They're so good for each other. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I still ship it. Ships never die. They do. They die that day. <laughs> yeah, brother. <laughs> Can I do a perception check? We to have check a silly little crew. Cool. We have a silly, silly little crew here. Does it matter? Though? We have fun here. Well, I gotta, I gotta g oh. give him a good ship name. Prodrologist doesn't sound right. <laughs> The professor is here, kneeling outside the ritual space when the archaeologist finds him. And despite all his efforts for the archaeologist to remain silent, the old man turns. The two square off, saying nothing in the dim, silent chamber. The archaeologist's blood simmers. Here stands the man who mocked him, who ridiculed him. And for what? Was this all a game? Is it going in his report back to the Grey City? Why? Why go to all this effort? And then, in a blink, the professor drops something to the ground. The archaeologist only has time to see something small and ceramic before the professor's boot crushes it, shards of clay splintering, as a black shadow erupts from it, bursting out violently and twisting up the professor's leg. The archaeologist catches a smile on the professor's face before the old man becomes consumed in swirling shadow, rising, rising, and a dark entity stands before him. My friends, this is your final battle. The archaeologist faces off against a demon and the demon is going to initiate each round with an action, and you as a group must discuss what your reaction is. The archaeologist's goal is whatever you think is most wise and pertinent. The demon begins with a chart. It says words long lost from an unknown tongue and shadows from the corners of the room slowly spread like vines, like mist, and eventually the room is consumed. What does the archaeologist do? You have 30 seconds to decide. Uh, uh, I don't know about well, you, but I see a lot of fire. Break the helmet. Yeah. Start a fire. I just pour a bunch of water on shadows with fire and flashlight. He has an oil lamp, he has a flashlight, and he has a safety helmet. Mm. Oil lamp fire. I throw a safety helmet at him and I run. <laughs> That's a good strategy too. <laughs> Just burn the fucker. <laughs> yeah. Sending light to the fire to, to the pyres might be a good idea. Just know they're dry Just enough. Fire They'll probably light right up. And combat the shadows that are coming at us, you know? Use the shock baton. Did I hear shock baton? I want one. Wait, did you say what did now? you say it was a dark entity? Can't we just call the cops? They'll handle it. <laughs> oh my god. Bad. Bad. No. Oh, no. oh no. Oh. 
Travelers, I am going to put this decision down to Cat Ninja. Have you been listening to the group? Don't yes. wave your hands like that. You've heard some ideas. What sounds best to you? What is not going to get us killed? Don't fuck it up. We fight for the honor. <laughs> yes, I think oh. that's what we're doing. How? Yeah. How? <laughs> well, hmm. we have a book. Is it in your camp? We do, do not have a book. We have a safety helmet, a flashlight, and an oil lantern. And the room is currently so. being filled with shadows. So, the <laughs> oh oil lantern goodness. is flammable, and the flashlight... Not flashlight. Um... There's a flashlight? <laughs> Dude, the other thing. There is a flashlight, a safety helmet, and an oil lantern. Yes. Let's just right, so... I'm bad at decision making. Someone offer him an what? idea. Burn. There's text right, right there. Burn. Burn. There's, burn. there's burn. text, burn. text burn. there's text right there. Burn it. But how can we burn it if we don't have a lighter? We have two. Do, do oil, oil lamp. It's an oil lantern. Oh, it's already burning. burning. The oil lantern is already, oil lantern is already lit. Oh. Yeah, they I, just I don't turn the oil lantern into a Molotov. Okay. Throw the oil lantern. So, all right, all right, listen, listen. I don't. You got it? You got it? My friend's oh, yeah. I'm his friend. We take the oil lantern that's already lit. We chuck it at the wood, lighting the room. I see. Cat Ninja, you have sealed our fate. This is what happens. The archaeologist sees the shadows grow. He sees the darkness they hold and does not want to find out what happens if they consume him. He sees piles of wood ready for burning and in his hand an oil lantern. He rushes to the nearest pyre and we don't have time to light it without destroying the lantern. No, we must smash the lantern into the pyre in order to light it. And he does so, and the pyre catches fire, destroying the lantern in the process. In the immediate vicinity of the pyre, staring into the light, the darkness, fortunately, has no effect on the archaeologist. And the shadows subside as the round ends. One pyre is lit, and the battle is ongoing. Oh, fuck. Take a stick Success. and light yeah, the other pyres. Uh, wait, wait, wait. The actually, demon should have begins the second round. round by spamming an attack. He starts to chant again, and the shadows again grow from the corners of the room. He is trying to catch us off guard. You have 30 seconds to discuss the reaction. Wait, the wait, lantern is destroyed. I have a great wait. idea. So this whole room is covered in a wood like steak ring. Why don't we just light the wood steak while being outside of it? Then he'll be trapped in fire and the fire will spread to the other pyres and then bam. Grab a log from the, from the fire in the center. Yeah, but, yeah, but you're inside. Of wood. Grab one. You're inside grab one of the it. burning oh, yeah. sticks and light it. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, but you're inside grabbing inside a stick, leaving the circle, and lighting the circle. If you're trapped in the fire, oh, though, but well, what if it's inside of it? Then step, step out of the circle and then light it. That's what I'm but saying. But those shadows are approaching from outside the circle. From Use your flashlight to aim at the shadows. Inside the circle. To counter that. Yes. Yeah, I yeah, flashed it. My friends, your time circle. to discuss has ended. Hi. Which means I must call upon one poor so I mean fortunate soul to make the decision for this round. Let's 
go with dip and drip. Oh my god. <laughs> Dip and drip. Do you speak? Yes, he does. Come on, drip. He can type if he can't speak. Dip and drip. What do you think is the best course of action for this round? Do you want to text me and I'll tell them what you say? You can, if you wish, elect someone else to speak on your behalf. I do see the telltale typing. He is typing something, oh. yes. Uh, um, he says, I'm in a call, someone needs me right now. Understandable. Wait, where did yeah, he go? Us. Oh. He's over here. Completely fine. Let's go with... Yes, sir. Oh. I choose you. Use Thunderbolt. I mean, what does the archaeologist do this round? <laughs> we have an Absol right here. <coughs> yeah, exactly. Shit, that fucked. Pick, pick someone to offer you an idea. Who's gonna fight? Are you pointing so, at Cat I... Ninja or Kitten? Yeah, are you pointing at me or? What have you two? <laughs> Cat Ninja already answered last round. Okay, <laughs> okay. True. So, wait, can, are we allowed to ask questions? The shadow guy is coming from like the center of the wood stake place. There's no right? time. Offer an idea to Yesert, quick. Oh, just light. Step out of the circle and light the wood stakes on fire. Trapping the shadow meat demon inside the wood. Do you want to do it, yes, sir? I don't yes, Ert. Ah. Uh. You're welcome. Very well. Then the choice has been made. This is what happens, yes, sir. The archaeologist realizes that fire is his best weapon here, and he sees more things that are flammable. But instead of moving to a pyre, he grabs a piece of burning wood from the pyre he's beside, leaps outside the square line of stakes toward the shadows, and tries to light the stakes that are in the ground. They don't take to fire very well. They are low down. They are hardwood. There is not much air circulation. There is a bit of a fire, scarcely enough for him to once more stave off the shadows this round. This round sees no progress made. Round three begins with the demon launching directly for an attack, black claws outstretched ready to swipe. You have 30 seconds to decide what the archaeologist is doing in response. Roll of the flip check the with the combat helmet. We've got RP dodge. Him. We use the uh, torch. <laughs> we wave it at him. Wave it at the, the, eh? the, the, the Maybe demon we could use thing. The hard hat as a shield. Or we could take That's a torch from it, throw it at him, throw him at him, throw the torch at him. It's a good Smack idea. Effective idea. I, I still think we should just light more pyres. I would also it's agree with this him, idea. It is, it's, it's coming at him, all right? It is coming directly torch. at him. Mm -hmm. Wave the torch right in front like like a, like a tiger, you know? Back foul beast. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What about the flashlight? We can just like... The flashlight's not Yeah, exactly. 
Ah, but do we know that? Okay, How do you know that? Could, could, could flashbang him. Because it, it's a flashlight. The Gene. torch is fire. And it is fire Gene. is scary. Tor it's, it's darkness. <clears throat> yeah, it's darkness and light. The fire is burning off because it's dark light. I have a plan. How bright is the flashlight? We don't know. Can we just we shine the know. flashlight in his face? We did use the flashlight before, like so we do know how bright it is. This isn't Alan Wake. We can't just use a flashlight for everything. We can. We didn't use it yet! Dude, we're not using it for everyone, we're using it for one thing! What if it's out of batteries? <laughs> we just used it like missions! What if it, the, what if it, you never know if those batteries can die? Then I guess we'll fuck around and find out, alright? Alright, fine, we'll use a flashlight, but the torch is second hand. Travelers, mm -hmm. travelers, your time has come to a close. I'm calling upon Exter seven eight oh, five oh, six. Oh. oh shit! Okay. Wait. <laughs> no, I'm here. Right. Okay. Yeah. So. I think he should. So he's getting attacked by the fucking shadows. He dodges. The demon itself Runs. is attacking. Yes. Yeah. He ducks under. Grab fire, goes to another spire, lights that bitch on fire, and just hides behind it. Ending this round. A point of clarity. Does he emphasize trying to get fire again, or does he focus on trying to evade the attack? I would say... Oh, he should evade first. Evasion is the focus. Very well, yeah. extra 7856. Then this is what happens. The archaeologist only has a moment to react to the attacking demon. He sees a pyre nearby, and in his head, he quickly tries to plan out a route to go to grab more fire, more burning wood. The claws come scraping toward him, and he twists and ducks out of the way, tumbling to the ground in the process, but he's sure he would have lost a limb if that had connected with him. He has avoided the attack, but because he has fallen and scrambled to his feet, he does not have a chance to get fire. The next round begins with another attack. This must be a souls-like because this boss is relentless. The demon comes lunging for a second swipe, this time with the opposing arm trying to double attack us. You have 30 seconds to discuss your response. Flashlight. Flashlight in the yeah, face. Flashbang. Flash flashlight in the face. Blast we, we have no other choice. Flashbang. Hit him with the flashlight. <laughs> if it doesn't work. Hey, like, hey, turn it on, and if that doesn't work, just fucking... <laughs> stupid. That's really stupid. Hey, wait. Pretend there is exciting combat music playing. I have some going in the background, actually. What song should I pull up? Travelers, your time is up. Hydrasius. Yes? What do you think is the best course of action? I, I use uh, the flashlight to reduce the, the attack of the shadow. And, uh, and go, go on the Go on the demon. For beat Want to use the flashlight offensively to attack, to counter attack. Yes, for, for reduce the, the power of shadow. I 
attack. Do you turn the light on? See. On the shadow and the Iku on the on the demon. Mm. Very well. Let's try that, Hydrasius. The decision has been made. The demon comes screaming toward the archaeologist, and the archaeologist, with the flashlight in one hand quickly turns it on and tries to use it like a weapon, like a beam of light. He tries to get it in the way of the demon. But the demon closes its eyes at the last moment and follows through with its attack. There is a burning sensation, and the archaeologist watches several of his own fingers go flying. Oh. Not a lethal blow, but yes. far from ideal. We just... There is still only one pile lit, and the stakes are increasing. The next round begins with... The demon steps back, looking down at the small archaeologist, and taunts him with a swirling voice of darkness. What makes you think one from such a poor and miserable family as yours could ever make it in any field of science? As a group, you have 30 seconds to discuss what the archaeologist is going to do in response to this taunt. Light the other fires. Counter taunt. Eggs, there you go. Use this time to light Smack another fire. Dog, you yep. smack them in the nuts. Sometimes you would have lost them, then maybe they did not dodge. Yeah. Indeed. Bunny has the right idea. The Bunny has the right idea. Is them away. This is a ritual he could have lit up the fire. Exactly. Light the fire. Or you could just what smack them all. Sometimes magic over there. Science. It's not gonna work. Taking mm. a step out of the ring. Friends and travelers, the time for discussion has come to an end. Bunny, hot. Speak your wisdom. Well, I. I think we should keep on trying to light the fire. Because this is some kind of ritual thing. So it might be in the best interest to just light the nearest fire. Just grab fire, light it. Light another pile. Very well, Bunny Heart. Your <laughs> input, your decision making leads to the following outcome. The archaeologist hears the taunt. He hears the insult. He feels the truth in these words. And he sees an opportunity. He lets the taunt slide off his back. And he rushes instead to a pyre, grabs a burning stick, and throws it at another pyre, and it catches flame. There are... Two pyres lit, and three to go. My friends, the next round begins with... I think I hear a dice being tossed. Nonsense. The demon is not <laughs> perturbed. He stands back and watches the archaeologist, letting him do his thing. He doesn't seem to be bothered by the archaeologist's actions. How can you be so foolish as to believe this is a real ritual site? Of all my pupils, you were always the most dim of mine.
You have 30 seconds to discuss the archaeologist's response. Keep lighting the other pyre. Ignore him. Ignore him. Again. And use this time to light another pyre. Yep. Not gonna be and so dim for too long. We're gonna light more fires. fires. Hey, fire. Fire. Him. Otherwise you wouldn't be saying it. Wouldn't be trying to dissuade us from yeah. it. Now yeah, would lucky he? that he's insulting like, instead of like, like physically attacking. This is a D and D session now. <laughs> Since when did we start playing Baldur's Gate? Yeah, even if Next it's not D and D, darkness and death. My friends, your time to discuss has come to an end, and I am calling upon. <laughs> What a noise. <laughs> Time Lord 1230 E B C A. That's you. That's you, Chief. Is Time Lord, that's you. Light the fires. Mm -hmm. Light another fire. How? Give me some fuel. Yes. Mm. Cumin. <laughs> Are the rocks flammable? <laughs> Are the rocks no. flammable? No. Rocks. <laughs> you know what? Let's find out. My friends, <laughs> please, <laughs> silence. Maybe he not. is asking an important question. You Time know? Do you want to Are know the if the rocks like are flammable? <laughs> Let me think about that for a moment. No. Okay. And I grab another torch and toss it to another pyre. Time Lord, I changed my mind. Yes, there is flint in this room. Why not? This is what happens. Uh -oh. <laughs> Let's go. Sure, you Let's see. <laughs> My man is strong enough to alter fate. Still standing beside a pyre, grabs another piece of wood, flame firmly holding on to the end of it. Once more he hears the words and he knows the professor enough to believe this is true. At least the second part. The professor does think he's stupid. <laughs> does the archaeologist think this is a real ritual site? Evidently so. And being an educated, well-learned man, he sees something to use to his advantage. A glimmer of a familiar mineral on the cave floor. With great deftness, he throws the torch, the burning stick at an angle. It grazes, glances the flint on the ground at such a degree that sparks go flying dramatically. The pile, the stick goes into one pyre and the sparks ignite another pyre. Four of five pyres are lit. My man rolling a nat 20. <gasps> Holy Goodness. Shit. Wow. That's a. Uh, <laughs> that's actually kind of badass. That's what like. mortals call a bro gamer move. That was very well done. I mean, our proficiency is in rocks and minerals and dead bones and stuff. Oh, uh, goodness. Plus a hey. geologist. I'm so smart. <laughs> the next round yes. begins with the following actions. The demon looks about the room. There is one pyre yet to be yet lit. The demon laughs, sinks into the ground, and rises up beneath one of the pyres, engulfing its fire, reducing the number of lit pyres to three. And as the demon's laugh carries onward, darkness grows, and
and grows and grows until the archaeologist sees, no matter where he looks, just a pair of red eyes watching, staring straight into his soul. What does the archaeologist do? Grab two uh, torches this time and throw them on both the pyres. He's missing fingers. He can't do a wield. Yeah, we are missing three fingers. We are doing really Which fingers is he missing? See a pair of red eyes. What if we shine a light? This sounds. That sounds like a flashlight. What if we shine a like light into the think. eyes? And then he'll just close the door. I, I, like I think you're onto that. something. We tried that already. Know, but it's the literally yeah, the only thing we can think of. I was trying to blind him with it. Think yeah, about but it. no matter where we look, it's darkness. We didn't try him when his work. eyes were like this. Throw the flashlight at him. <laughs> you know what? Let's go with that. We didn't yeah. try blinding him with the flashlight when he's like this. That is true. We we just trying to see. Him when he's like this. Yeah. The research. Just chuck it at him. Eat it. Just throw it at him. You got the battery. Either way, we need to see. Like, <laughs> beat it! Beat it! Exactly. The flashlight! <laughs> oh, Lord. Shine it in his That's eyes, since it's the only thing, thing we can see. Take the pants off. I mean, throw it down. It's the first thing we can see at the monster. Wrong now flash. we should take our chance to blind him. <laughs> what? Travelers, your time <laughs> is up. Oh, heaven help. Devi J. I see you at the back. Come forth. Do you speak? Or type? Would you like to write what you think the archaeologists should do or pass? Very well. Do you see? Yes. Would you like to add some flavor text? Would the archaeologist do anything, or say anything rather, as he does this? Oh. Shine bright <laughs> like a diamond. <laughs> I mean, the only way they would talk about it is if. Let there be light! Oh. Nice. I see. Let's see if your burn <laughs> is accompanied by a burn, Devi J. Hey. The archaeologist, no matter where he turns his head, Left, right, up, down, there is just a pair of red eyes staring at him, defying space. Surrounded by nothing but darkness. And so he sees only one way forward. He takes his flashlight forward with his good hand. Thrusts it forth like a weapon. Turns the beam on and through gritted teeth says you may see me as dim-witted professor but your arrogance 
is the greatest display of idiocy I have ever had the dishonor of witnessing. And <laughs> the light burns the demon. It burns directly into those red eyes. The demon recoils, the darkness shudders, and it draws backward. The demon is stunned for a round, and its special move does not get initiated. When? A close call nice. and a free round. How does the archaeologist use this time? Well, fire. Well, uh, fire. Light the fire. 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 Like yet another oh. pyre. Mm. We light the pyre by glaring at it intensely. Grab a torch, light a pyre, and then chuck it at the second one. I, li I like your thinking. Yes, yes. We use our laser vision to light them both. I like that line of thought. Minus one. Plural minus one. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Well, that counter is. What it do with that count as multiple attacks though? We'd take a minus five to it to our throw. How <laughs> <laughs> is your time for tactics has come to an end, <clears throat> and I must call upon the insight, the wisdom, and the graciousness of Fast off. <laughs> Wisdom and graciousness? You mm. picked the wrong person, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, what are we doing? To figure out a way to pick up some, uh, some log that's on fire and lit the other fires as fast as possible. Grab a burning log from a pyre and Try as hard as you can to light the others, is that correct? Yes. Very well. An opportunity for you. Can you think of something the archaeologist can do to make this moment more anime? More anime? Any idea? Yeah. Oh. Jojo pose. <laughs> I am in the mood <laughs> to reward clever thinking. Uh -huh. um, it's a backflip for no reason. Pull a black <laughs> clover with Asta, just yell it for no reason. Pull off a yeah, 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 yeah. Have like <laughs> there you go. Some, some gradient like runner flying, like in anime, while he dashes to the ground to slide to let the, la the last fire. The motion lines. Yeah. Hmm. Do motion lines make people go faster? I think they do, don't they? That's how they I work. Only ever, yes. I only ever see them in anime when uh, people go faster, so... Very well. <laughs> this is what the archaeologist does. Apologies in advance. Seeing an opportunity here, a unique opportunity, the demon is staggering back, holding its face, clutching where the light burned it directly. The archaeologist grabs a piece of burning wood from the pyre nearby, and he runs in a way he has never ran before. He leans forward and thrusts his arms backward that's right <laughs> he naruto runs and this boost in speed is enough for him to use the torch to ignite not one but two pyres with a three times bonus to his agility <laughs> Anime for you? Now that's a pro gamer move. That's anime. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. If only he did it for him, but he can't. Damn thing. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just trying to Fuck yeah. <laughs> I love that. Well delivered. <laughs> that was amazing. Well, well, well done. The hours of five pyres are lit. He did it. The archaeologist lights the final pyre. The flames pick up and roar. And after the moment, a fire. It changes from orange to white. The archaeologist scrambles out of the ritual site, and the white light grows and grows, burning hot and bright. The demon is saying something barely audible amidst the roaring white fire. Something about dark mimetic entities, something about greater powers, and a name in a language he hasn't heard before, and yet it feels terribly familiar all the same. And another name. Sophia. And the demon's screeches become piercing, and the professor's voice is there faintly beneath it all. The archaeologist can barely see the shadowy figure as it begins to break down, dissolve, deteriorate in a torrent of light. He watches until it's all gone, until it's all over, until the light and noise fade and the cavern returns to normal. The pyres burned to ash. The demon gone. The professor gone. And the archaeologist with barely a second thought turns his back to the empty cavern and leaves. Congratulations! We won! Ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -da. Can we collect his ashes? We gotta make the <laughs> ship whip! Anime power. Darn, we never got to smack him in the nuts. <laughs> wow. Why didn't he just have an anime power awakening and use PK fire on all the pyres? <laughs> oh damn, that was yeah, no. bad. Now turns. Yeah, that would have been anime. Only after a 30 minute, an entire episode long flashback sequence, though. <laughs> My guy, it is 12.17 a.m. <laughs> 5.17 here. 6.17 here. Wait, me, 9.17 p.m. It's 11.17. I don't know why. You know, there's time zones zones are fun. different time zones. You know. No, there's no such thing. I'm just in the future, bud. This. Mm -hmm. There is nobody up here. The archaeologist is alone. Finally, alone. The great southern mine shaft is silent. He looks down and listens, taking one last whiff of the crease and smoke, before climbing the steps, ascending the ladder, and leaving the great southern mine shaft forevermore, never to return, at least in this timeline. My friends, my dear good friends, Congratulations on reaching the good ending of the final showing of The Archaeologist. Well done. Whee!
Victory custom emojis. Hey, you know what? That's a good idea. Victory group photo. I like that idea. Yeah, I like that. But my friends, let's move somewhere more comfortable to do the outro rather than standing here. Please follow me. Where is he? Oh. <laughs> Questions: If your friends jump, will you too? Absolutely. This is the first time I've ever seen a full group jump down. It's amazing. Look at these lame-os. Look at these lame-os walking down. My friends, allow me. Place you back into the care of our lead tour guide. She. <coughs> Very well. Thank you, Trajan. This is a wonderful tour. Thank you, Trajan. Oh, oh God, Daddy tour. Keith returned. Travelers, before I say anything. Please put your hands together for the one and the only Trajan. That does not sound like clapping. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Travelers. Anything that sounds like that. When Trajan <laughs> joined me, he helped tremendously at the beginning. And soon, his ideas formed this tour. He told me that he was writing a tour and that he wanted to show us the world. We came here and we listened to his story and it was wonderful. This was back when we had no control over the worlds. And so there is no music that changes or animations here. But that, that itself somehow made it all better. It made us realize that we had to focus hard on the narration, the storytelling, to create the atmosphere and immerse you instead of any special effects. And that's why this tour is so popular. Getting lost in these caves with your friends. For me, at least, it's always unforgettable. Very much so. My friends, I hope you don't forget this story. Perhaps we'll find a way in the future to do it another way since Trajan has retired. But what happens in this story should be remembered. Because our tours are connected by a greater lore. My friends, we are VR travelers, and we do this for fun, we do this for free. However, we do ask one thing in return. We ask that you join our Discord and post the photos and or comments from today's tour there. We would like to know how you felt, what your favorite moments were, and anything else. As your reactions to these events that we do mean everything to us. And it helps power us forward. Finally, if you really enjoy the work our team puts into this, and you want to help us write more stories, and of course, create more beautiful worlds, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Our Patreon is only $3 per month, and joining grants you eligibility to play the character roles in our other tours that have them. Joining the Patreon also get you access to lots of early content from some of the projects we're working on behind the scenes. The link to our Patreon can be found in the info channel of our Discord, and the Discord link is my status in VR chat. Travelers, friends, thank you again for walking through this place and world so many times. These
past three years have been the best for us. In a few moments, <laughs> we'll open a portal back to the rendezvous for the after party. But let's hang out here just for a few minutes. The floor is yours. Oh yes, group photo. Apologies. You must be a part of it. Photographer up on the stairs at the opposite side. I got it. Let's make our size the same. Yeah, this game also cool photographer. All right, let's see. Here, let me become yeah. small or something. Does anyone have like a light source avatar that can? Uh, there you go. That works. There it is. Uh, here. Oh, oh, okay. I was gonna stand up there and use my flashlight. Treasure will be our light, our guiding light, <laughs> our darkness. Yes, show everyone's avatars if you can. Okay. Um, yep, yep, yep. Right. Let's see, who else do I don't have shown? Show. Show. I think that's everyone here. Well, All my right. friends. Wait, 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 On the wait, count wait. of three, I think we should say something along the lines of farewell. So when oh, you are on Trajan's head. Oh, what? So when you are on Trajan's head. <laughs> Bye. Farewell. Until we meet again. Very good. Until, Until we meet again. again. On the countdown, say farewell in your own words to the archaeologist. Because this will be the last time he hears you. Dare you say that about my well, friend? All right, five, four, three, two, one. See you. You're a good one. Archaeologist. You'll always be my light in the dark. White people. Remember to hit the gritty. We'll see you next time. Oh my god, why are you saying that? They are pots from the camp. I mean, they're never going to do this growing again? Pro colleges forever. Is there a giant gun enough? Yes, there yeah. is. We cannot forget about 2017. <laughs> Alright, you there, beautiful dragon, don't move. I have captured you in your bubble. Be careful, smile. <laughs> kind of bright. The final group photo for this tour. It's over. Get bigger, bunny, so it's we done. Finish. Well, travelers. <laughs> and a few what, minutes, I'll open the portal to the after party. Scared. That's the... Hey, because I've already been party. uploading my, like, hundred photos that I took here. We have unlocked large gems. This is gonna be the <laughs> end of the imagination <laughs> only <laughs> tour. It's nice to see you again. There's only gonna be the high production from this place. This is the first time.